When it comes to developing a new aircraft for the military, to say that it is an immense undertaking is undeniable. Being the epitome of technological excellence, these machines are a depiction of intense engineering and require several do-overs to get right. Developing advanced aircraft is now reaching new heights in complexity, thanks to the secrecy veil required to avoid confidential information somehow escaping. Whether it's a new weapon system or the stealth technology used, secret military aircraft are desperately kept hidden to keep technology out of the enemy's hands. While we may not know exactly what's being developed right now, several other top-secret designs have been declassified over the years. From the Caspian Sea Monster to the B-2 Spirit, here are five of the most secret military aircraft ever built. The Caspian Sea Monster, or colloquially known as the Corable Market, was developed as an experimental ground-effect vehicle by the Soviet Union during the 1960s. It was designed and developed by the Central Hydrofoil Design Bureau and began its operations in 1966. This military aircraft was continuously under use by the Soviet naval forces until it crashed into the Caspian Sea in 1980. Because the Korabl market was regarded as the heaviest and largest aircraft in the world, it is remarkable how it was kept as a secret by the Soviet Navy. Upon its surprise discovery by the United States, the quest to determine the purpose of this military aircraft became espionage during the Cold War. At first, the Caspian Sea Monster was considered a standard plane or a seaplane as determined by its outlook. However, the massive size of this unfinished plane made them reconsider. As per a report presented by the BBC, it was realized that the aircraft was unable to fly in higher altitudes. Not only that, but the engines were also found to be well forward of the wing. As the analysts started connecting the dots, it was revealed that the KM was an entirely different ballgame. Being an Ekranoplan build machine, this aircraft had a wing in ground effect or WIG and was strategically designed to fly at a high velocity just a few meters above sea level. The SR-71, or commonly known as the Blackbird, is a high-altitude, long-range reconnaissance aircraft. It was manufactured by the American Aerospace Company named Lockheed Corporation and was recognized for being one of a kind. Because of its technological brilliance and capabilities, it was operated by both NASA and the United States Air Force. Developed as a black project from the Lockheed A-12 reconnaissance aircraft, the SR-71 was manufactured during the 1960s with its first test on December 22, 1964. The SR-71 cruised at three times the speed of sound, with a top speed of nearly 2,200 miles per hour, or 3,500 kilometers. What gave it even more of a competitive edge was that it flew at altitudes between 75,000 and 85,000 feet. This is what made the Blackbird too high and too fast to be shot down. Not only was the SR-71 both fast and furious, but it also featured a stealth technology that allowed it to minimize its chances of being detected within the enemy's airspace. It was regarded as technological brilliance because of the radar-absorbing composites featured on its leading edges and tail fins. Moreover, the black coat outside of this aircraft was impregnated with ferrite particles that helped in soaking up the radar energy. Another remarkable feature of the SR-71 was its distinctive shape. It featured blended fuselage, wings, and sharp-edged projections along the sides. This significantly helped in minimizing radar reflection. Despite all of the features and stealth technology it exhibited, the Blackbird SR-71 was retired from the United States Air Force in 1990. If we take a moment to look towards the future, what might we find? Sixth-generation fighter jets may be the answer. For years now, many have speculated online about the capabilities of sixth-generation fighters. The truth is that we are still many years, maybe many decades, away from their true arrival. Currently, there aren't even that many fifth-generation fighters in existence, so there's still room for development on that front. For a fighter jet to truly be sixth-generation, 
it would need to be able to do things that are far beyond the capabilities of the fifth generation. It is rumored that sixth generation fighters will be optionally manned, similar to drone technology. They may also be able to command drone swarms, acting as a central hub of command. This will be in part possible due to massive computer and data upgrades. Imagine the unmanned aircraft controlling a fleet of drones which act as eyes that relay that information back to the fighter. As of right now, we are far from sixth generation fighters being a reality. Known as the Spirit, the B-2 was one of the US's long-range stealth bombers that were first flown in 1989. It was delivered to the United States Air Force in 1993 and was constructed and maintained by the Northrop Grumman Corporation. This military aircraft featured a configuration called the Flying Wing, consisting of short but broad wings. One of the many remarkable features of the B-2 Spirit included its absence of fuselage and tail, giving it a length slightly bigger than that of a fighter plane. Not only that, but it also gives it a better wingspan, which was approximately similar to that of its gigantic predecessor, the B-52 Stratofortress. The bomber B-2 was constructed using stealth materials and shapes that made it extremely immune to being detected at normal combat ranges. The original intention behind the construction of this advanced bomber aircraft was to penetrate the air defense of the Soviet Union. Moreover, it was required to deliver nuclear weapons to important targets while safely returning to its bases in the United States. The external shape of the B-2 bomber features a series of complex, curved surfaces. Since it has no vertical fin stabilizers, it completely relies on the flaps of its trailing edge to pitch, control, roll, and yaw. The supersonic interceptor and reconnaissance aircraft MiG-25 Foxbat is also known as the Mikoyan Gurevich. It is a strategically designed aircraft that was developed to attack air targets irrespective of the weather conditions. Whether it was during the day or night, the MiG-25 responded remarkably well in dense, hostile electronic warfare environments. It features the Russian S-155P missile interceptor system. The development of the MiG-25 Foxbat was initiated in secrecy to counter the threats of the spy planes and American bombers. Even though the USA successfully obtained pictures and basic information regarding the MiG-25's existence, the gathered data was vastly incomplete. This is what helped to shroud its capabilities, and the true purpose behind its development remained a mystery for a long time. In 1976, a fighter pilot from the Soviet Union named Viktor Belenko stole one of these secret aircraft. Upon having defected with it, the pilot willingly agreed to offer the aircraft to the US government in exchange for his asylum in America. Then, a detailed study on the MiG-25 was initiated, titling it with the NATO codename Foxbat. Later, this aircraft served Russia, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, India, Azerbaijan, and Iraq. The Stealth Blackhawk, or commonly known as the Sikorsky UH-60, is a twin-engine, four-blade utility helicopter that was manufactured by Sikorsky Aircraft. The design for the Stealth Blackhawk was submitted in the year 1972 for the United States Army's Utility Tactical Transport Aircraft System competition. It was first used by the U.S. Army in the year 1979 as a replacement for the Bell UH-1 Iroquois. The Sikorsky UH-60 has always been used as a means of transporting military personnel since the 70s. Although there's never been any official statement about the Stealth Blackhawk's existence, one of them crashed during the 2011 raid on Osama bin Laden's residence. This incident later revealed something interesting. Even though the remains were destroyed using explosives by the US Special Forces, the tail section survived. Upon investigation, it was discovered that nothing like that exists in the US's arsenal. For all the right reasons, an air force is regarded as a crucial part of any army. It is a symbol of air superiority, but it also helps provide safety for the military troops on the ground. 
So, advanced military aircraft are a must-have for any country that seeks to keep its airspace sovereign while securing its position in the world. To see more videos like this one, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.